So you're thinking about going on holiday this year with the family for two weeks in the sun? You might be thinking about changing your caravan for a new model. Well, let me introduce you to the Swift Challenger. This is a six berth caravan and we'll have a look round and see what features you like. So it's eight o'clock at night, you've just arrived on site, all tired, and this caravan is black from all of the mud that you've got from underneath the car. No problem. Stand up on the step here and you can clean all of the windows and the skylight that you associate now with the Swift models. Coming around this side, also bearing in mind it's now probably dark, we've got an awning light that actually is operated from the key fob. Nice locker space here and an even larger locker space at the back which will easily take an awning particularly when you are leaving at the end of your holiday and the awning is a bit damp or even wet. Saves everything else inside the caravan getting wet. So that's the Swift 625. Let's go and have a look and see what the SE stands for. SE stands for Standard Equipment and let's see what standard equipment you get in this model. Well it's loads. First of all let's have a look at the sleeping accommodation. So the first thing that strikes you are bunk beds, ideal for the kids. And when it's not in use, it acts as a dinette. But there are some nice features here which I think is worth pointing out. What's going to stop the children falling out of bed? Well, we've got these little dividers here which come out and store underneath the seat. Also, individual lights, step ladder to get up, and plenty of locker space above, but not so close that the children are going to knock their heads on it. And if they want a bit of privacy, well then there is the curtain here which pulls round, as you can see here. So there's a nice bit of privacy for the adults in the rest of the caravan. Opposite that, we've got a superb kitchen work surface area. Now bearing in mind that this caravan is designed for six, there is enough work surface here to cater for the food preparation as well. Also, we've got a three gas burner and an electric plate together with a full oven and grill. Again, ideal when you're catering for larger numbers. And while we're talking about larger numbers, look at the food that we can store in there. One thing I like about this kitchen is it's just like your kitchen at home. It's got plenty of work surface, but it's also got some very nice features. Look at the light in here. The back of the work surface is all illuminated. And also, underneath the work surface, again, lit. So when you open the cutlery drawer, you don't have to have the great big lights on elsewhere in the caravan, which might disturb the children, who by now might be well asleep. So I like that, and it's a nice touch, and all part of the standard equipment. Another nice touch for the 2013 model is the touchscreen controls for the improved heating and hot water system that runs under the caravan. While we are at this end of the caravan, I just want to point out the numerous plug sockets that we've got and aerial sockets. So if we have got the Xbox going, there's enough mains power to provide the facility. And also we've got an onboard water tank that is underneath the seat, which doubles up as a double bed if it's required. So let's go down to the sleeping area. Now we come through to the fixed double bed and there are some nice touches in the sleeping area. And one is, when you open the wardrobe, the light automatically comes on. And there is also a light here. So when I look into the mirror, it shows me in a good light, doesn't it? At the, we've got a towel rail here, which is all part and parcel of the central heating system. So it's a heated towel rail. So now let's have a look at the washroom. Well, I've been impressed about everything so far in this caravan. However, the size of this washroom is, for me, not big enough. A, not big enough as an individual, but also not big enough for six people who are going to be using this facility. With the door closed for the shower, there is not a great deal of space in here. So personally, this is something that I would have liked to have seen a lot larger.
Let's review what we've got here then. We've got a 2013 six berth caravan with a lot of equipment and a lot of improvements from the 2012 model. All right, it's £22,000 and it'll over, but when you think about the amount of holidays that you will have had with the family in this caravan, it will pay for itself in next to no time. And I think it's a good buy.